So, hello and welcome to Blue Tengu's live game development show. This is uh, a progress report for those of you on YouTube. Uh, what we did today with beta episode number two, we continued playtesting the game. Uh, we did find a few new issues, but not that many. Uh, this week we found basically eight new issues that we needed to address. We already fixed one of them. And uh, we also confirmed a couple of the fixes that we already did. Also got a little overtime in where we managed to fix some things, so let's just go through what we did really quick. The monolith hint particles uh, are now very obvious. Uh, the credits are all fixed so that the right number of viewers are showing up. We added everyone who subscribed to the Twitch channel up through at least last week is now in the credits properly. Uh, we play sound effects when the volume changes so that you know how loud the sound effects volume is when you change it. We also put the grass tiles. We updated the grass tiles for the grave and the boomerang holder that are being used in the tutorial opening. And those are all fixed, confirmed, and then this episode, we played the game for about an hour, found some bugs. Uh, the big bug that we fixed was that when you got to the edge of the room, it would kill you, uh, but it would kill you away from the edge of the room. So what would happen is if you started in a new room, you would be close enough to the edge of the room to die, uh, which caused you to just reach a new room and just keep spawning over and over again. Obviously, that would stop your progress in the game. Fix that, because that was important. It was also a pretty easy fix. That was also related to this bug, which we had from the previous week. And enemy spawners spawn less frequency, frequently, uh, and also ground enemies spawn less frequently. That was because when we got to the jungle level, it felt like we were just constantly having to mop up these ground enemies, and it was kind of getting in the way of the exploration, so I cut those numbers down, and it's working pretty good. Also, the tile slowdown, we, when we were in the jungle level, you were going over marsh, you were going through trees, everything was slowing you down too much, uh, so we, we knocked that down a little bit. It's much more subtle now. Uh, the lava tiles as well, uh, every time there would be an eruption, the lava tiles would start out grayscale and move to red, which was weird. So we fixed that. Night does go back into day now, and uh, it does reset to day whenever you die and respawn. So we've got we got some progress done. Uh, next week, let's see, beta episode three. What we want to do for next week is more play testing, obviously. Let's move that to the beginning of the list here. So that's going to be here. Some more playtesting. Uh, usually it seems like about an hour of playing the game and an hour of fixing is about the right balance. And find issues. And even though the episodes are two hours, uh, we do want to keep some room in there to make sure that we can address issues. Uh, but that kind of wraps up what we did this week. Uh, if you are interested in following the live show and actually seeing what we're doing, you can definitely do that by coming over to Twitch TV Blue Tengu. See, there I am. <laughs> in the past, with an active chat, uh, which I haven't caught up with yet. But uh, let me give you the times here. Uh, this is also for the benefit of the people on uh, Twitch as well. So let's see. Jump off the desktop and get my times. So for those of you on Twitch, uh, thank you for watching our game development show. You can catch past episodes on uh, youtube.com slash uh, Blue Tengu Studio. Uh, right now we're only giving updates on YouTube uh, because I don't want you guys to have to watch you know, two hours of just me playing the game and talking and stuff like that. So I do compress it for those of you on YouTube. But if you do want to see what we're doing and actually see the game in progress, come over to Twitch TV uh, Blue Tengu because uh, that's where we're at doing this stuff, and you can join in the chat and everything else. Also, if you subscribe on Twitch, you probably will end up in the credits, so just to let you know about that. Uh, but all the information about where you can find us is in the Twitch info down below, or in our YouTube profile, for those of you catching this later on YouTube. Uh, but just in case, we're at www.bluetango.com, btango on Twitter, uh, facebook.com slash studio, youtube.com slash studio for those of you watching the live stream, and Twitch TV Blue Tango for those of you watching this on YouTube. Uh, the game we're making is Project Skyrim. Uh, we do this Sundays, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. in Japan, which translates to 4 to 6 Pacific on Saturdays, I should say. Uh, Saturdays, 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific, 5 to 7 Mountain, 6 to 8 Central, 7 to 9 Eastern. If you're in the UK, it goes from Saturday at midnight to Sunday at 2 a.m. If you're in Japan with me, obviously it's 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And uh, it starts anywhere from 8 to about 11 a.m., depending on where you live in Australia. If you're in New Zealand, it starts at noon. But we do always announce what we're doing uh, through Twitter, so follow Vtango to keep track of when the live show starts or episodes go up. 
or uh, follow us on Twitch or YouTube because you should get announcements that way. And of course, you can see what we're up to anytime over at our site, bluetango.com. Again, if you pitched in a little extra for our season one game, Project Spaghetti, you do have the Sapphire Key file. I am putting builds up on HIO, and you know how to get them, so you can try out the latest versions. And if you are on Steam uh, and you search for Project Spaghetti, uh, throw, throw a yes our way. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.